Hello traders, welcome to ChrisFX. This is the only video on daily bias that you will ever need, so pay close attention. Why is daily bias important? We are intraday traders, at least I am an intraday trader, and I want to have an assumption, a prediction, let's say, on where price is going to be heading to during any single day. This does not mean that I cannot enter trades against the daily bias, but this is going to be the concept of another video. It does mean though that we are going to be entering high probability trades. Here we are on the daily chart on Euro US dollar. If I take you back in time in this occasion, let's say that we are exactly right here, we can go ahead and we can analyze price action day by day on the daily chart. Actually, I'm gonna drag this right here, but I'm gonna go through the logic. I will analyze price action from this point right here until the today's price action. Once we broke above this area over here, we are waiting, let's say, for the next day as well. And after that, we are waiting for price to come back and fill in this imbalance that we see right here. Did price come back straight ahead and do that? No, it did not. It did just continue with breaking structures towards the upside. So in occasions like this one, where you would be expecting at least a small retracement and you do not have it, it is a good idea as a trick to be bullish, for example. So until you see your first retracements, you can absolutely have a bullish daily bias for the next few days. Again, remember with those candlesticks, for example, when this candlestick right here starts, we did a retrace first, as you can see, and then we went up and closed right here. So we could as well have placed trades, short trades, I shall say, in this occasion in a lower time frame with a bias that then we are gonna buy from another point in time. I will take you back here, but first of all, I will show you where we broke structure once again. Where did we break structure once again? We did break structure right here, but more apparently, we did break structure exactly right here. So from this point right here until this point right here, we expected for price to retrace to one of these discounted prices right here and then go and continue towards the upside. This is exactly what happened. Price came back, so when we have the first bearish candlestick, we can expect to be bearish until we reach discount. And then once again, we broke structure towards the upside. With the same exact logic, we would be expecting for price to come back to a discounted price. When we saw price breaking below this structure and this structure right here, in the bigger picture now, we know that we have not retraced in this overall picture now, we have not retraced in a discounted price. So what I want from you is to think about price in a more complex way. So this thing that I have drawn right here would have been as if we are looking at the weekly time frame now. So you can look in the external structure, this strong structure right here, but you can also look at the internal structure and of course capitalize all of these days over here. Now I said that we haven't retraced back in order to test this imbalance, this fair value gap, and this order block right here. So when we made it back to this discounted price, you see at the beginning that we had bullish days, we had this initial reaction, we have one candlestick right here, we have a second candlestick right here, and a third candlestick over here, which are all bullish. Then we did go back and grabbed more liquidity, tapping even further into this imbalance, and then we have another bullish movement. What did price do afterwards? You can expect from here, when you see price breaking below this area, that price wants to go back and tap into this daily order block. So this is your next area of interest, and in here, 
we will change again our bias when we see the first bullish, the first strong bullish candlestick, we will change our bias to bullish again. So two things. One, identify market structure by being zoomed out, such as this one, not zoomed out like that, I don't mean that, zoomed out, such as in this occasion right here. For example, now we know that in the larger picture we need to come back to a premium which is above this area and what can we see in this premium? We can see this imbalance right here. Here you go, we know that price now has, probably has to come and retrace back into this area. And at the same time, I want you to check out in the internal structure. So in this occasion, for example, we had a break of structure right here above this area right here we knew that probably with the first retracement price is gonna make it into a discount. Not only that, it just grabbed liquidity below this area. What do I believe now? I believe in this occasion that price is gonna make it at least back to this fair value gap right here. So generally speaking, I am bullish. Now, when price makes it back into this area, from an internal structure perspective, I will know that price has or potentially has to come back to a discount in order to go ahead and continue towards the upside. So this is how to form your overall bias and then you can go ahead in this occasion, let's say that we are right here right now, we are right here and actually price is playing out live, I am still bullish. This does not mean that I do not have significant areas on a lower time frame, which I'm gonna talk about it as well such as this area right here, from which I might be taking a short according to the Chris FX rules and other rules that I have put together, but it does mean that in general my bias on Euro US dollar for the next days is bullish, just in general. So I want to see price come back into this area right here of this fair value gap on the daily chart or tap into those two candlesticks. Okay, right here. So until then, generally speaking, I'm bullish when price makes it into this fair value gap. Of course, I'm expecting to be bearish until we reach a discount and then again bullish until this order block and then again bearish for a bit and then probably we will continue. We will see then how we do it. So in order to sum things up, what I want from you in order to identify the daily bias, I want you, first of all, to be zoomed out and identify the external structure, which is as if you are in a higher time frame, and then you can zoom in as well and just identify the internal structure, which is very important as well. Wait for the first retracements. You know, for example, somewhere around here, price has to retrace. When you see the first bearish day, you can expect for another one or two bearish days to continue until we hit discount in this occasion, three days, and then we continue towards the initial direction. Furthermore, pay close attention to fair value gaps and order blocks and success is going to be inevitable. This is how to identify the daily bias. I will make way more videos on daily bias, weekly bias, and also the four hour bias. This is gonna do it for today. And thank you all for watching, until next time.